It's time for the Giz Whiz with Maz Mattis writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1977, recorded Thursday, February 29th, 2024. Organize your pot. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dickie D visits Five Below again. We have a black tooth blue speaker uh, and my last bathroom gadget all next on Dick is Wins show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC it's time for the gizmos because gadgets are his business they've got a gizmo sickness geek disease under pathology frozen rows of USBs growing growing LEDs get ready for the gizmos now 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 and here he is our Gadgeteer, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. We I are. love that you rearranged everything since last week. The mirrored ball is great. You know, is that the price tag on it? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, no, we still got the price tag on it. Um, oh. Yeah, as you can see, it was, it was only $5 from 5 Below. Oh, my. Five yeah. below. Only, only five bucks. We got to wow. keep that price tag on. <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave that down there. And it did not include the motor. <laughs> no. I'm very, yeah. definitely I'm super proud of the uh, disco ball. Not only does it have a new motor, which I, I made sure to get just the right one, but also, I don't know if you can tell, there's a, there is a spotlight on this as well. Do you see how my hand is like getting blown yeah. out as I move over to it? And I love that it's in a box so you yeah. can see all the reflections. It's Not great. Not only that, but I didn't like how little you could see the reflection, so I made the inside of the box even darker. <laughs> oh my gosh. With, with oh my paper. Gosh. I, <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's great. I want that reflection to be even darker, so I added extra paper so you could see it in there. Um, yeah, so that is looking super good. I'm loving the disco ball representation on the set. And then I moved a few things around. These are making are those three different kinds of Coke. What are we looking at? Coke? These are my, so this was during a um, campaign that Coke did. I think it was the share your Coke or share a Coke campaign. And they had the ability to print on the labels and they make these really good prints and so i got the gift oh Wiz. wow and so we got a diet coke a regular coke and a coke zero in the gift Wiz. so wow that's great cool. i forgot about them yeah. those are super yeah yeah, those are I, even I forget about these. I, I come across them every <laughs> once in a while. I literally, I was unpacking. I was like, "Oh my gosh, the Coca Colas I got!" No, oh, no, it's forgot great. Forgot about those. It's great. Um, and then I got the you know the Twit Fez. And Dicky D, there's your book right there. My book, super. And I got a few uh, YouTube awards. I got the emergency flashlight just in case. We need a flashlight. Oh, is this light. the one that you filled with water? Yes. And then and it'll you're last. the one that told me once you <laughs> fill it 24 hours in a row, you cannot, you yes. cannot shut it off. So the, the advertisement mentioned, you know, emergency flashlight, 24 hours of power. And of course you think you turn it on, turn it off, and you have 24 yes. hours stored up. No, because it's a chemical, the battery is a chemical reaction. That chemical reaction only lasts for 24 hours. So it's on whether or not the flashlight is actually on. So you only get 24 hours total. Um, so all you, you have to consolidate all your emergencies into one day. One block of 24 hours. Into one Otherwise, block of, yeah. So keep that in mind. You could have an emergency and take an hour off and have your second emergency. But you have to be done with the emergencies by 24 hours. Yeah, and uh, hopefully they'll you know keep to the calendar invite uh, to make sure <laughs> that they stay on track. On um, track, exactly. Um, and then yeah. some warehouse, uh, some warehouse gadgets, right? An yeah. old All sorts speak of, and spell. Is that yeah. a speak and spell? Yeah, that was one oh. of the speak. This is a a modern speak and spell. Um, I had a, a 
actual speak and spell um, when I was younger. And, but this is the modern version of it. I think it's still, can I turn it on? Oh, oh well, I need to update the batteries. I need to turn in, put in some new batteries. Um, but yeah, a few of those, Oregon Trail. Sassy Jeffrey, this um, little uh, um. plush. This is from the Brick House, Twit Brick House. We made our own um, little plushy thing and we named it Sassy Jeffrey. I remember that. So Jeff Jeffrey was our producer for a little while. Over oh, Twit. yes, yes. I so remember. We, yeah, I remember. We, renamed, we named this guy Sassy Jeffrey. He's still here. <laughs> Um, and of course I have one of the first Alfred E. Newman, um, wow. you know, that I got from you, Dickie D. So this is wow. one of the very first ones. Yes. That's, and that's a genuine because people are selling them all over the internet, but they're merely copies. <laughs> Those inkjet knockoffs. Yeah. Don't exactly. stand a chance to my original. E exactly. Do you remember uh, the name of the flashlight? Dwindle is asking, what's the flashlight? Let me see. What is this? I thing? mean, I had one. Hydra light. Oh, H Y D R A light. Yeah. The Hydra light. Yes. Is uh, the. God, what type of technology was that? A fuel cell technology? Something yes, like that? Yes, fuel cell. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Crazy. Um, so there you go. That's. Uh, I think that the Gizwa says basically. I don't know if there's many other additions or changes. I, can't, I couldn't decide on the colors. I may need to ask the patrons which color should be the background um, color because we can change it. Green looks a little ominous. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm going to... What gonna... is our, our logo is blue, right? Right. And so I had it on blue, but on the camera, it really shows up as purple. It like, does show up as purple. As it bounces off of this blue uh, curtain, yeah. it kind of shows up as purple. And then red looks kind of cool too, but it's... Uh, yeah, I feel like, anyway, haven't decided on that yet. Anyway, small details with the set, but it'll it'll come together. It's a um, work in progress. Exactly, exactly. We'll have it down by year 10. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I mean by year, by year 20. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so let's jump into some gadgets, shall uh, we? Okay, let's uh, go right to five below, take a peek. It was five below time today, now at five below, I have bought many of these puck lights, as has Dennis. You know, you just stick them up and press down to light them. Bought tons of those. I bought three of these last year, okay? The sunset lights. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially when winter came on. I have these in a couple of windows. I have one here in the studio. And then today... Just as I headed out, I'm checking my emails, and I get an email from Five Below that they now have a combo puck light, sunlight, introducing what? LED, yeah, I know. This. LED sunset torch lights. That's cool. Okay? And I must be new because at the cashier, she said, what are these? And I said, well, they're were only three, and I bought two of them. And she said, well, when I'm done ringing this up, I'm going to run out and, and get the last one. Uh, so I don't know why you want, like, a, a sunrise or a sunset in your closet, but maybe you do. I hate these kind of packaging. Okay. This is, uh, I think it's called Snippet. Snip, uh, Zip Snip. So the rabbis use. Yes. <laughs> and boy, that has come in handy for these indestructible uh, packages. Okay. 3M on the back. And oh, this is better. Springs. They had switched to just prongs, and you couldn't tell which way the battery went unless you had like a magnifying glass. So now they, maybe just this version, but it's back to having springs in it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and now I'll shut the light off. And actually I'll leave the back off for now in case the batteries are not correct. Ooh. Oh, and you so ring the sacred bell. Here. 
Oh. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's yellowy, yeah. You do? Yeah. Does it look better in... Yeah. Don't you think it's too? funny because I, the camera, uh, it looked good for a second, then the camera the sort of readjusted the lens. It's more oh, you. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, yeah. okay. You know what? In a, it's sunset. That's what it is. It's sunset right? yeah, and yeah. in a confined area. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty neat. Okay. So it's two for 555. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. You know, did, I think the ad said, the, I think that paper said. Oh, there oh, are two brightnesses. Wow. That's amazing. Whoa. There are two. So this is pretty decent. Must have cost so, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two for 555. That's the bright. And that's low. And then that's off. All right. So I'm happy with these. These are very nice. Okay. And as I said, I think they're brand new. Now we also I stopped by the health food department there and got... Uh, 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 <laughs> the health sparkly food. Sparkly wild berry. Ah, at least it's uh, fruit. Peeps. Yes, yeah, fruit. Party cake. Ah, you're, uh, you're getting some um, fiber. Cotton cake. candy. Ah. I know. Well, those are all silly, frivolous things. So we had to be healthy. And then we got regular peeps. Yum. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And these are peeps. Traditional. Traditional. Oh, these are bunnies, right? Oh, yeah, Easter's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. All right. Um, and these were four for five bucks. Okay, they don't light up and they don't take batteries. <laughs> but uh, we love five below. That's it. Uh, may the sun always rise in your closet. Shine on your peeps. Shine on your peeps. Just hanging with my peeps. Yeah. That is great. Uh, those are, those look fun. I, it's they interesting. Are fun. You can they, add them uh, wherever you fun. want. If you want to brighten your day, you can do it on the cheap. On the cheap, any location, battery operated. That's crazy. You supply like the that. batteries exactly, uh, but two of them for five fifty five, and and the regular uh, puck lights are, are just three for five fifty five. So Dennis is putting them everywhere. And I actually, I just installed one under my desks. So when I drop something, you can just push up on it and make it easier than trying to go find a flashlight. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Put <laughs> everywhere that I'm like, oh my gosh, I just need a, a quick light. On the edge of a nightstand, honestly. Time to go to the bathroom. Boop, boop. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. Absolutely. Like it. Absolutely. And time to go to the bathroom. Boop, boop. Sunset or or sunrise, uh, yeah. depending on yeah. what I want. That's nice. Yeah. Dan is asking. Dan, so a lot of things are still five bucks, and some things are five fifty-five. They're five beyond. Uh, yes, there's a, they now have five beyond that. It has luggage, which is yes. I think the most expensive thing I saw was twenty-five dollars. I think I saw a fifty-five dollar something. Like it was. Oh, it was a car. Their 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 electric car. <laughs> It was a pair it of dentures. Fun. No, it was a, uh, I, I can't remember what it was. But yeah, it was another, it's like, oh, hello. This is kind of expensive here, five below. Um, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, what else you got? Uh, okay, so let's take a peek at gadget number two. If you have a lot of pot in your house, ah, what? maybe you need what type a of podcast pot is this? organizer. <laughs> Ah. Um, organizing life accompany the soul. <laughs> what? Organize accompany the soul. Maybe they meant accompany the soup. Okay? It's an organizer for pots. Okay? Not pot. Uh, let's take a peek. Whoa. Blur Beep says it's All pretty right, dope so gadget. <laughs> well, we this is one of the nicest we'll, we'll, we'll packaging like. of a gadget so I've seen. This is what it is, okay? Back uh, when you used to actually get a package with a gadget, right. yeah. with real instructions. It's a way to organize bowls. Yes, you're right. With these little shelves, and if you put up bookcases with it, the, the uh, you can adjust the shelves to any height you want. 
I believe this is the same way. So if you have a tall pot and then a frying pan, you set the shells up the way you want. Wow, this is really neatly packed. Look at this. Huh? The box, then all the parts. And then these are feet and arms and legs. Uh, feet, probably go in the top part. Uh, all right, so I'll put the stuff out. Then we'll take a break. I'll have Dennis build it and then I'll take credit <laughs> for it. You have to go get uh, your pots. Right, so yeah. You gotta go get so your pots. See what the different pieces look like. Boy, these are monumental tie wraps. I got tied and then do a wipe okay. today. Two, that should be it. Oh, I will. Right. So. Now the company says they're stainless. You get two. Six. You get six shells. And wait a minute, you get eight shells? Oh, okay. So I get the picture. I think the fact that these are separate from those, my guess is that these go on upside down. Okay? So this is gonna go in like this. You know what? That's pretty nifty. And then this side, it's going to go in upside down. It is kind of clever. There's the same shells, and you put them in one way, the and it's ones the foot. Face up. Huh. Oh, I'm showing and it. And then the shells face down. This is just like those bookcases that you install on the wall, and then these guys, you can pick where you want them to go and line them up. And it's obviously and it super customizable, because you can just yeah. choose whatever this should go in there. You know, level you need for whatever pot size you and have. And then you set them. Then I'm gonna put the feet on, the other shelves, and then we'll come back. All right, it's together, and uh, I actually did it myself. Uh, so, Dennis pointed out something interesting, is that you sort of need larger things to go on here. For example, if you put this on, oh yeah, it, because I'm there's not quite an sure opening why in the they shelf did it here, that way. this is fine, but smaller items will tend to fall on through. Just a better thought. You know the cardboard that comes in the box? There's enough cardboard in there. You can just make shelves and then put anything you want on there. But I'm thinking in the workshop. It's good for shoes, too. I guess. Oh, then it's the same shoes. It's also good. Um, it's a really nice organizer. It got pretty good reviews. And I think it was about $28. I like it. I think that um, yeah. I can think of a, quite a few ways, like maybe... Cookie sheets, Pyrex dishes. Yeah. As long as you know that that's the weird kind of surface that you got on top, and yes, you're kind of exactly. locked into that. Um, and also, they point out if cool. you only put shelves on one side, you can lay it down and then use the dividers that way. If you uh, want to stand up like frying pans and covers and dishes, you could use it. Uh, in that direction, use the eight shelves in a stand-up situation. Interesting, and also like maybe also if you have lots of smaller things, you could just not use one side and like back it up to the back of the cover yeah, or the shelf that, or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just leave the 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 uh, one side of shelves off. Yeah. Now I never saw this before in an item. It said warning: this is an often often returned item. Oh, and. Now, there were two main complaints. One I don't understand is, I don't know how to build this. Oh. 
it, it's try. I mean, it is one of the simplest things. Um, and the other was, it's too tall. Huh. Uh, it's too tall to fit under my sink. Well, the thing is, the dimensions are on the description. It is 16.5 inches high. Ah. I wonder if people so, really saw this image and thought, <laughs> oh, it fits under that sink. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that almost looks like a designer sink because it looks like there are no pipes or... Uh, this looks like a fake that. sink. Yeah, definitely. There's no pipes. This, the, that no is a nothing. shallow sink. I would not like that shallow of a sink, I feel like. Yeah, yeah no, you're funny. absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And one of the photos you just passed had it uh, standing the other way. Yes, I did see uh, that. Yeah. The, uh, uh, this one right There here. you go. You, you can use it that way, too. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I thought um, it was kind Scooter of Scooter X found... An option. It's not quite exactly the oh, same. Oh, okay. Um, on AliExpress. Oh, it's, it's very close. Yeah, it's close. But Almost. still, it's, it's uh, not super inexpensive. It's not like so inexpensive that. No, but it's ooh, almost it's the kinda, same price. Those shelves look a lot better designed. Yes, these look like complete shelves, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an advantage. Not yeah, but you wires. only get three shells. Yeah, one. Uh, yeah, you really do only get three. Other than the the bottom ones don't count. Uh, other than <laughs> than the bottom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Also, can you go back to the Amazon page because yeah. it is the weirdest product name ever. It has no vowels. T Look at the name. <laughs> What? There's no way to. There's no way to, to even say it. To choose. To choose. Yeah. Ah. If they had a phone number, I'd call the store and see what and, and say, "Can you say the name again?" How do again? you say this? What was the name of the? Ah, I love my to choose pot and pan <laughs> organizer that I just got. Thank you for the to choose pot and pan <laughs> organizer. That's a riot, fun. isn't it? Uh, yes. I'm sure that it's also trademarked on the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, and that was probably one of the thousands that went through. Yes. I guarantee yes. it. Uh, okay. So talk to me about this uh, black tooth blue light thing. Blue suede speaker? Here yes. it is. Take a peek. We only do a Bluetooth speaker if we find one that's really different and I think I have with the game on Whoa. Bluetooth backlit gaming speaker by Packard Bell. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now this is kind of strange because it comes with a writing screen and kind of an infinity background and this is what it looks like and then I'll tell you why it says the word help on it <laughs> okay <laughs> when I first got it, I wrote the word help just to see what it, the background looked like um, and then I put it away and I forgot to cap the pen so the special pen has dried out and I didn't want to, I wanted to have a blank screen and I was going to write Gizwiz on it for the demo. But since I don't have anything to rewrite, I just left the word help on it for now. But this is the way it works. Okay, it's USB-C chargeable. Um, it will run for about three hours on the battery. It's Bluetooth, I think 5.2. Let's turn it on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. Oh. And I'll show you. I'm going to turn the light down a little. Let me get the music going first. You know, we always play the Western Gizwiz theme because ba -dow, ba -ba -dow. we don't have to yeah. worry about digital. No, no digital rights to worry about. Oh, yeah. Now. Five more gadgets, five more shows. We're gonna keep Nicky on his 
so you can have it blinking. Or steady. That looks way cool. Or it's just off. Not bad. Yeah, I'll back now. I'll be here. Um, anyway, okay, so that is it. Oh, no, no. Uh, no uh, uh. Wait a minute. Stop. It's taking over. That was, yes. What is going on with my phone? <laughs> Genius is getting into it every time. <laughs> it's kind of fun for a party, okay? And like it comes it. with a little cable, a little USB cable. And I looked on Amazon. You can buy uh, these pens. I, I actually ordered some more. buying one because I'm probably just going to give this away to somebody who might have one of those. It'd be great you could write congratulations or happy birthday. Yeah. For party. Yeah. You, the, 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 actually, that's very good. A happy birthday on there. Actually, if you give this as a gift, you can write, you know, Happy hate birthdays. <laughs> I've always hated you. <laughs> Write their name or whatever. So how much would you like to pay for this speaker? Now, over at Belk, I don't know where they got the imaginary price that it was one nine, 200 bucks, $199.99. Ah. Oh, definitely. But it's only 60 bucks there. Whoa! Or we yeah, can go creep. to... I forgot the name. Oh, yeah, Pulse TV. This is where I bought mine. And get one for twenty four ninety nine or two for like forty eight dollars. <laughs> Not such a big deal. Or go over to Big Lots, get it for fourteen ninety seven. But uh, uh, um, extra twenty five percent on checkout. All right. So what does that bring it down to? Like uh, twelve bucks. All right, but I I didn't realize Quite a price range that it from had sixty dollars to twelve bucks. Well, even if it's, it seems like this could be something that could be found somewhere. I feel like yeah, um, right. Well, it, it's still twenty four dollars on Pulse. At Pulse TV. Yeah, I, I, but I it mean, was cool. What an imagination for that Belk to say it was originally two hundred dollars. Yeah, what are you talking that's about? ridiculous. No way. Yeah. Also, I, I think it's so strange that was Packard Packard Bell is the manufacturer. Like what? Yeah, I know. That I, I think that they one. just like co you know Kodak. You can buy the name for almost anything. Yeah. And Polaroid. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Polaroid's gotten better at that, but yeah, they got they were bad for a while. Um, yeah. I almost wish that it had a uh, clock in it, though. That would be cool to have a, um, instead of just the neon screen, have it have the time. Oh, 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 okay. Like projected onto that? Yeah, like where the yeah. writing is. Make that the time, and then you have the cool infinite background. I thought that would be kind of neat. I thought they were going to go there, but it didn't ever go there. I like it. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Pretty fun. It's something different. Yeah. The kids yeah. will love it. Kids will love it. Okay, well, with that, let's head to... You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie. We are back with the last of the bathroom crappy gadgets so I recorded one of the on. rare times you did five gadgets yeah and on a theme it's the 29th which is just the coolest thing that we're recording on a leap year love that love that for us leap year happened to be on a thursday we have our gizwiz show on it it just couldn't get any cooler so <laughs> um so anyway here is the gadget Hey diggity, so we are back at it with the last of our crappy corner bathroom theme. Today we are taking a look at this little guy. This is a faucet extender. This is so you can you know use a typical faucet in a bathroom as a way to just drink out of it, or perhaps you have a faucet that is uh, not in a great location. You can kind of 
add a little bit extra uh, to uh, maybe fill up a water bottle or something like that. So here are some of the pieces uh, that you get inside. This is the actual extender. So this will be the faucet oh. part. This goes on oh. your current faucet. So the idea, right, is that we can extend it up or extend it down. Or, and then you know, this has like articulation and then this can go whichever way. So we get a lot of uh, range with that. And then all of these extra pieces are to help attach it to whatever type of faucet that you have. So here are the instructions. You may need to pause momentarily to kind of take a look at them and even more wow. sort of like exactly what you need in order to make it work. So we're gonna take a look at this and try to install it. We have an issue and that is <laughs> I may have an incompatible faucet. Can you believe it? They gave us so many adapters, so many little ways to adapt things, but I have the one faucet that won't work. So they gave us some Teflon tape. Well, that's not gonna help. Uh, these are all gaskets and uh, Allen wrench for the rest of this stuff. We have a few more gaskets. Uh, these are rubbery, they're not gonna help. So we can test each one of these. Uh, this unscrews and then there's like a little like uh, water distributor there, but this is where it would attach in there. Yeah, and I can't believe it. Nothing will attach underneath there's nothing even close so a little bit sad but we can still we can still try to test this out it kind of weirdly uh, that's the original gasket i want to keep that with my uh but it kind of like fits in there <laughs> i wonder if i can <laughs> can we make this work here the i'm tape. gonna try to drink out of this and hopefully this doesn't just oh my gosh okay it didn't work um so but you can see if you know it didn't spray up everywhere that uh that it would you know it would you could drink out of it like a normal fountain it would add a lot of range and especially if you had kind of like a a close faucet that like was pretty inconvenient this would add quite a lot of uh extra depth yeah. to uh to a pretty inconvenient faucet which is pretty nice if it works with your faucet so um, you know, I could get another, uh, faucet gadget, but I think I just need to get a new faucet at this point. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, uh, one of the funniest things that I forgot to mention about this gadget that really did draw me to this gadget is I didn't realize that in this gadget category, there is something that sets each gadget apart. And that is how many degrees of swivel that these can achieve. Apparently, just like with megapixels, how that used to be, the higher the number, the better the product uh, is what these gadgeteers, or the people who make these like faucet extenders, because it doesn't just swivel 360 degrees. No, 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 no. Not even 1,080 degrees of swivel. No, no, no. We are talking 1,000 440 degrees of swivel, and that's right, the most degrees of swivel that I have seen from all of these swiveling extenders. I don't know why they decided to really hype up the point that this is a 1,440 degree swivel, um, but they did. Oh also, I, like I, I think that they're getting their same notes from the monitor industry because 1440 is a monitor size. Same thing with 1080. Yes, a, oh, oh, and 1080 is too. And I don't know why they decided that those can were also, the two numbers. Can't can, can, can something just swivel 360 <laughs> degrees? I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. If we see it like a 2560 by... <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're going to go. I, the chat has the, the perfect joke. I need 2K and 4K resolutions. Um, don't know why that is oh the thing God. that they're doing. Well, it'll probably work on your kitchen sink, right? 
So my kitchen sink unfortunately has a one of those spray. It it will oh, be a yeah, spray yeah. or thing, right. so it is uh, it's incompatible. Um, so I will say, if I had a compatible faucet, this would be really great because it feels super high quality. It feels heavy. It, it doesn't it, feel cheap. It looks cheap. great, and I'm surprised it <laughs> it's priced so low. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sixteen bucks. Yeah. I know. I really wanted this to work, honestly. Um, and so you can see that this would be great for just a water fountain if you had some kids. Obviously, all the other reasons that I'm articulating um, had you you know that you would want. Uh, very useful. Very inexpensive. So many adapters, but my faucet it will not work with, which is which is a little a little sad. Um, and even it's tons of different options, tons of different, um, like you if you have Venetian bronze and you need the Venetian oh bronze version, they call it black. Um, but you know, they have chrome and they have a black version and, and anyway, they just have a whole bunch of different, um, uh, uh, what are they called, finishes as well, if, uh, if you want. So uh, there you go, the faucet extender didn't work for me. Um, I have all the pieces and parts. What we've been doing is we've actually been giving away a few gadgets on um, the Gizwiz Patreon. So this will definitely be one of the gadgets I give away since it didn't work for me. Um, so this will be going to a patron member. So if you are so inclined, please join the patron, uh, Patreon. And uh, this will probably be up for grabs in a future gadget giveaway because I have no use for it. Uh, okay, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Our email is from Joe Petrix, uh, uh, P-E-T-I-X, and he says, here is my video gadget. Ooh. Hi, guys. I've got something that you might like. Um, it's called a converter. goes from uh, tape, cassette tape, to mp3 and that's how it looks like this came with the, the cable oh interesting it's a digital cable it looks like and it's, a li it's really light really light real small um, it opens Like that. Oh wow! I, didn't expect, but, uh, I expected it to open it from the bottom. There. Yeah, let me. Close see. It. You know, it's funny because, and I don't know how to use it exactly. I I never tried it yet, but it looks like uh, it would work. That's about it. Thank you. Interesting. I'm. I'm curious. Now I actually have. What you have one? Al Dickie? Almost, almost that one. I swear that looks exactly like the one. Yeah, and, and I found another one. I, I found the one he he uh, has, and That's I think so it's funny. thirty bucks. I think I sent you a link. To yeah, it. yeah. Uh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's it thirty bucks. Um, but then I found another one with, this only got 2.9 out of five stars. I found one, which is the one that I have. Ah. And that's $7 cheaper and slightly better, three and a half out of five stars. And like Joe, I don't think I've used mine yet either. <laughs> They don't now. They don't have speakers. They're basically there's a headphone jack, and they come with uh, some rinky-dink headphones. But the object mainly is that as you play your tapes, you hook it up to your computer, 
and you are digitizing the uh, audio. Interesting. I assume that it comes with some software or something. But that, well, looks... they tell you no. They just tell you to download uh, Garage. What what is that? <laughs> like Garage Band or Audacity? Yeah, Garage. Or... Oh my it. gosh, that's funny. Oh, that's very funny. Um, I assume that to your computer it shows up basically like a microphone, and then you, you just take the data. I go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, yeah. Who knows? And um, actually, this is an auto reverse mega bass. This one is quite heavy, so I, I I can't tell about the first one. But this does not look badly built for the money. And th the thing is. The quality is probably not going to be great, but on the other hand, it's coming from a cassette. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, so the quality is not going to be that great. Yeah, that absolutely. The, the absolutely. Uh, motor in this is going to wreck it for you. Absolutely. I, I can't imagine that uh, there's much cassette media that people are just dying to consume and digitize. <laughs> I just I feel like. I don't know why records transcended that format. You know, death, that tape definitely has experience. But, uh, yeah, I don't know many people hanging on to their cassettes. Um, Scooter X, I believe it was Scooter X, actually. Let me double check. Um, uh, 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 oh, he found it twice. One for 13 and one for 11. Yeah. So it looks like we got some. Yes, definitely. So I'm. Uh, let's grab both of these. And um, here are some Ollie uh, Express options. Oh, you know what? That is it. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that. That is the exact one I'm holding in my hand. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So that's only yeah. 11 bucks. That's pretty good. And then there was Boy, that is one. very good. That's cool. That's cool. And they are picking up shipping rather quickly. That That's coming by... March 7th, that's like eight days away. Oh, yeah, you're right. Both of them, yes. Choice delivery, I don't know, sure. Who knows what is real and what is, uh, you know, you got to spend 20 extra dollars to get, so. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's all there. That's really cool. So if you need to digitize tape, there's a few inexpensive options. Way, way to do it, yeah. And, and as far as the, I think it was Pack W said, well, if you need the time, you have a pen, just write the time on the, the packet bell speaker. Of course, you have to rewrite it every minute. And there you go. <laughs> I should have thought. You know, I should use it as an alarm. I write the time I need it to be when I need they, to know the time. When, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then you take a photo of it and you said, I'm not late. Look, I'm awake holding my clock. It's 9 a.m. somewhere. And it's actually 9 a.m. on the on my handwritten clock. So well, it's very exactly. boutique, the handwritten clock. Um, with that, let's move on to the letter. Oh, well, don't forget oh. we need, hang on, uh, we, we still need videos, okay? So uh, if you can make a video, anything to do with a gadget, okay? One to three minutes. Uh, just make sure it's horizontal format. We can, you can be in it if you want and see the gadget. And you will get whatever the current issue of MAD is. If we play your video, we're playing pretty much everything we get. Okay, so uh, make a little video. Mail at gizwiz.tv. When you upload it, YouTube will give you a URL where the, uh, your video will be. Click unlisted. That way, only people you send the URL to will be able to view the video and send that to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Get one now. here next week. We need it. We need it. Do it. It's fun. It's a fun thing to do. It doesn't need to be fancy or anything. Just no, no, a typical not phone. Just make sure that it, you're not in TikTok <laughs> mode. Yeah, that's Dwindle no. said, can I send a VHS? No. No, no, no. No, uh, no upload it to uh, YouTube. That's fine. You can record, yeah, as long as you can digitize yeah. it and upload it yeah, to YouTube. Absol fine. Actually, we would love that. That <laughs> yeah. would be great. Uh, with that, let's move on to the letter. Now. And, of course, our letter is from Mo. 
who says, guys, check out this website, which I did. It's kind of fun. Uh, we'll take a peek and you'll, you'll see what, what they're doing there. It's, an, it's a then and now. Ah, so, so then you use this razor. Now you use this razor. Okay. <laughs> the printing press. <laughs> Boy, I, I don't remember a printing press <laughs> like that. I do remember them. Do you remember mimeographs? You mimeographs? Don't, right, oh, actually, I might remember them going off. I don't remember, like, using them or needing them. But is this is this the, uh, the punch? Is that what you would no, call it? No, like mimeograph was you typed it. Chat room, it wasn't a mimeograph that you typed it and you put it on a big wheel. And then you... At, you put in the paper and then you cranked it. The school newspaper was done on mimeograph. Oh my gosh. Huh? Mimeograph. I just Googled it. There it is. There it is. Oh, there interesting. It is. So it's like a way to make pamphlets, basically. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You typed on some sort of filmy thing and then the filmy thing got inked up. There's one. Interesting. And then you fed paper into it. It was pretty messy. <laughs> and the <laughs> and the resolution was not amazing. Yeah, purple ink. Purple ink Swindle remembers. Is this why some of the photocopies that we would get in elementary school would look so bad? They were like from yeah. mimeograph technology back in the day? Yeah. Interesting. And, and purple. My very first printer printed in like purple ink it was from 3m and it was some sort of a a weird you put two things anyway i had one one great thing about it is it stopped working i think it was from 3m and i and i called the company and said you know i've only had a a month and the store has no warranty and he said where did you buy it and i said i think it was called willoughby peerless and he said, oh, those guys are crooks. What's the model number? I said, uh, the th a 310. And he goes, we have not made that machine in four years. He said, I'll tell you what. It has been, s we made two machines past that. We don't even make that anymore. But I have one here in a box. And you got screwed. Wow. And I will just send you a much newer version of what you have. Now that is Just, customer service. Where, is that amazing? Where is that nowadays? That's, that's, that's the exactly. type of company I want to buy products exactly. from. Yeah, nowadays they said, oh, and you bought that stupid thing? You know, I have something that I think you're interested in. <laughs> <laughs> you bought that stupid yeah. thing? One second, hold still. <laughs> this will look yeah. great on TikTok. Ah, <laughs> what a dummy. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. All right, we're we're only on the printers. We got we have. Oh, uh, got pre yeah, yeah. Let's go back. <laughs> then, oh my gosh, the uh, setup. I mean, we. I remember even you know growing up, we had an entertainment system, right? Like you had the system. Now it's a sound bar. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, ex yes. Your exactly. whole entertainment I, system I, I, is just a sound bar. Oh my God! Yeah, I had voice of the theater systems in my basement. You would have from... to have cabinetry just to hold the yes. speakers. Electro voice, uh, voice of the theater, fifteen-inch woofers. My God, they were three hundred dollars each then. <laughs> and this is uh, eighteen ten, I think it was. Oh man, no way! That is crazy. Oh, uh, then it, you know, stove. Uh, a stove, stove, yeah. Yeah, calculator. I mean, that's actually, not even that's, now. That's actually, this is outdated. It's your watch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. My phone, excuse you. Honestly, then, now, just the chat GPT logo, really. I mean, who's using calculator? Yes, calculator? That's, you're right. And then the vacuum, no, that's, that, now. That sort, of, that sort of works. Yeah. Yeah. And this sort of works, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is my favorite. What? Can you look at that gadget? What? You you put the toast in a cage. 
You gotta then, believe I that there. This the is if this is and... electric, that your fingers could have just touched that hot <laughs> filament. You better believe it. That is ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's that looks like scary. a Victorian era toaster. Yeah. Medieval and then the, the now. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's funny. Uh, the now is funny because I just saw an ad for a toaster with a full LED screen. Oh I'm yeah, thinking, those are huge, huge news. The smart toasters is <laughs> is what if you want to uh, toast? They have like cameras in them and stuff. The smart toasters are taking over, and they're they're inexpensive too. They are. Yeah. Um, this one I mean, like, compared. I mean, icons it, on it. Uh, well, maybe it's not an expensive. <laughs> this is not exactly. Uh, I, uh, hello, that's the one I'm. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay, maybe I'm misremembering here. I do not remember it being three hundred and fifty bucks. I was thinking of a, some knockoff toaster. Apparently, there is some knockoff that I'm thinking of. Well, Scooter X will find you one. Yeah, for, exactly. I need the Alibaba. Uh, we need one for nineteen dollars with a that's too funny. LCD screen. Um, of course, then the and now that makes sense. TV. Then that that makes sense. It's funny. Right? This article I would even say is outdated. How cutting edge do you want to be? Because now, Vision Pro, man, I'm spatial. Oh computer. my I don't, god! <laughs> don't even need a TV, baby. I got I got Vision Pro. <laughs> don't even need it. Then now. Oh, okay. Yeah. That that one works. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of a oh cheat. Oh my gosh! I think. They used gourds but, so you didn't have to squint. I That's guess. Ridiculous. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. That just looks. Dang. I don't know how anyone would ever manage to use that thing without burning themselves, and <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Whoa. Oh my and gosh, what a style. It sort of doesn't make sense because <laughs> that they're that really was, not equal. Yeah. Anyway, no, that, that was definitely it. not. But it's kind of a fun thing. Yes, I agree. The last one is fashion, not technology. Okay, two yes, completely yes, exactly, different categories. Exactly. You can say that about all sorts of weird fashion. Um, that is good. That is very, very funny. Um, thanks for the letter, Mo. People, y'all can send in letters, not just Mo. Yes, Anyone can. Yeah. Email us anything you see around town, around the internet. Mail it to us. Funny, funny signs that you see. Funny signs, gadgets you one see of, out and about. I, I have to find, if, I had a funny sign about a year ago. Uh, it was a, I think a real estate office. And it's, <laughs> the slogan on the window was, we're always here for you. And under it, it said, we have moved. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> that is funny. But Anything, my favorite, folks. My favorite is from a British sitcom where the guy's walking through a, an amusement park. And it says, there's a sign, Madam Olga. She knows everything. She sees everything. And under it, it says, closed due to uncircum unseen <laughs> Circumstances. <laughs> Unforeseen circumstances. Unforeseen circumstances. Yeah. That's very funny. That's good. Yeah, that stuff. Send that over. Mail it over. Anything we, like that. Yeah, anything like good. that. Uh, just uh, this is an open line of communication, especially if you're shy to record a gadget warehouse video. Perfect, perfect way to still interact with us. Yeah, just email at least have your name on the Gizwiz. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you so much for your support of our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This show is possible because of you. So thank you so much for your support. If you like the gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you can show support or gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab on our website and then uh, there's a big old banner that'll take you to Patreon or there's a tiny little link so you can donate uh, via PayPal if you would like uh, to donate via PayPal. Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday 
4.30 Pacific time, 7.30 Eastern. When we are live, the website will just update with the live stream. So you can join and chat along with everybody. Uh, the chat room is just below it. So I highly encourage you to join the chat room. Fantastic group of folks over there. And then all of our previous episodes are there on our website, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website where he writes up articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you need a link back to a gadget, gizwiz.biz, that's the place to do it. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? This is the gadget, the whole gadget. Yeah, we only have like... Only if you're watching this is their time. Honestly, to play. true. You have a, a, an hour. Honestly, if you're watching <laughs> live, you have. Uh, Dick, have you already pulled the emails? In fact, you may, maybe too uh, late. I, I, I've put them all in one. I've taken all the answers out of all the emails. Oh, there you go. Okay, uh, so maybe too so late for this. At <laughs> midnight, we'll start going through them. If you're listening Thanks. to this, go ahead on over to gizwiz.biz. Play along with whatever's up there now. And uh, we'll find out and what soon, this gadget yeah. is next week. I'm excited. I'm excited yeah, exactly. That. And it'll be a new one next week. Yes. As, uh, along with a new patron, um, patron decided crappy corner. So once again, oh, shout out to the yeah, patrons. that's great. Third shout out to the patrons. So uh, head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz or gizwiz.tv to support, to, uh, to join in on that uh, poll. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we will see you next week. I'll be here.